What's going on guys? So today I have taken some clay and I'm going to be working on some dinosaur bones. Now my clay here has been sitting out for a little while because I had left it out in the heat too long and I had to soak it with water so it got really the consistency was kind of messed up. But basically if you've ever played with clay or play-doh when you're a kid I'm basically just taking these bits and rolling them out. Now I'm using air dry clay. I got this at a craft store. Um, there's different types of clay. But this one, what I like about the air dry clay is you don't have to bake it. So there's nothing special. I'm just going to um, roll my pieces out and give them all kind of a little bit of curves. And I want this to look kind of like either crate dragon remains or a whale that died and it's, it remained. Um, like this, like this is getting all over my hands. It's a complete mess. But yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to roll out as many pieces as I can. And I want them all different sizes, but I kind of want every piece to end up having a little bit of a curve to it. And once I get enough of these done, I will go ahead and uh, I'll give them a little bit of a curve. I'll probably break some off a little bit, uh, and then we'll cut out, uh, you know, a big old piece. And and the idea is I want a, a piece that infantry can go into and like hide behind, like taking the place of trees. So yeah. All right. So basically. I rolled out a whole bunch of them and kind of lined them up to be some kind of series of bones and just got to let them dry. So the next step is to, while these are drying, to take a big piece of foam here and just start cutting out an area. And I want this to be big enough uh, that I can have troops get on board. Um, and so I'm using my wand and I'm going to just be doing some sideways cutting in here. like so kind of like that and then kind of go all the way around with it all right so i've got a good base size piece here and as you can see it'll hold uh you know hold a good number of minis and basically the idea is these pieces can kind of go around it like that to create kind of like a forest but with bones all right so these guys are pretty much dried now dry enough that i can stick them in here now i was thinking uh, i'm definitely going to paint these guys i'm going to try to put a little bit of bone color on them uh just enough so that it kind of contrasts with the white because we're going to have white on white uh, and i want it to stand out but they're primarily they're still going to be pretty much this color. Um, so one of the things that I could do is I could paint them first, but I think I'm going to try to get them in here first. And uh, and then I'll paint them once they're in. I think that's kind of the plan that I'm going for right now. So uh, I am, I've am i got my, my wand here, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out little holes in this and then kind of get them into the holes like, like that. So... There we go, like there's one. And then I'm gonna do a bunch of these and then I'll take my glue gun and and kind of have them in there. So I'm gonna do several uh, and those will just be anchor points for them, like so. I, I also wanna make them far enough apart that I can still put minis in between Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, we'll do this all the way around. All right, and basically I'm just putting glue in here and then sticking them in. Some of them will probably fall, so you kind of have to take your time with this. Man, my glue has been in here too long. It's looking orange. It's okay. I don't mind if it's orange. I'm going back over it with paint anyway. Yeah, it's a long process. It's going to have to hold some of them. Okay, so we've got all of our bones glued in place, and the next step as, uh, is going to be to start painting. Uh, so the first thing I do is I mix blue paint and water and I need a little 
little more blue in there. It's a little too much water. There we go. Um, just to create like a wash to get in all the cracks. I mean, it, it helps that this is already blue, so this isn't going to take a whole lot from me, but it also, because I'm using two different types of foam, I think it's helpful to make it a little more consistent. Uh, and I always just, I don't do this on the top where it's flat. I just do this on all the other sections. And then after I do this, we'll go ahead and, well, I do a little bit on the top, but then I'll just put the white, white on after this. And I think after I do all the white, I'll probably go around and, and do the, uh, the bones themselves. And yeah, that's going to be about it. But I think this is going to be a pretty nice looking piece on the tabletop. And we're just going to start getting our paint on there, making sure to cover up the glue as well as possible. So there it is, and now I've kind of mixed some white and some oranges and stuff, and i am got pretty close to a good bone color. And I'm just kind of going over all of these. Okay. Um, just trying to be delicate, because it's clay, and it's just in there held by a little bit of glue, so these things could, in theory, they could probably pop out without too much difficulty. And that's kind of how they look. Do all, all right, so we've got the bone shade done, and I'm gonna let this dry. And next step is to put some snow around the base that'll help solidify it and uh, make it look a little more natural. All right, so I'm mixing my snow mixture here, and this is just this white liquid and some more of this powder. And I want this to be a little thicker than the last time. Uh, it's basically just like got the consistency of paste and a little bit grittier. It dries real nice, but it takes a good 24 hours or so to dry. And I use this thing here, and it's great because it's just going to get in all those little spots right there. And what I do end up using my fingers. I just use this to get the bulk of it on, but I'm going to end up using my fingers anyway. But it's great because it's very workable. Yes. I'm going to do all this all the way around, getting the fingers in there to smear it on. Yeah. Just getting everything all around here. There we go. Alright, so I finished putting all of my snow down, and I kind of, one of the things I like to do is that I'm done, I kind of rub my fingers out because I'll get snow all over the basically the rest of it and that's fine um, it's still a little wet so I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder and and, uh, and I'm gonna just kind of just drizzle it like salt bay style over the top it'll do a little drier effect for it and one of the things that will also do is once it's dry it's gonna sprinkle off like salt all over your tabletop so make sure you blow on it and get it really good but that is about it guys uh, that is the finished piece uh, make sure you wipe off the bottom in case uh, if you're doing something like this because sometimes i'll get a little piece on my finger stuck to the bottom and then it won't lay flat and you want it to lay flat uh, on your tabletop so there it is um there's our little uh, our little droid stand up in there mister uh, and there's just enough room for me to stick my hand in there and put minis in so that's kind of the idea what do you think guys uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, check out my other videos on how to build Hoth Terrain. Uh, might be venturing into some other things with the Upsilon, making it Starkiller base instead of just straight up Hoth. I don't know if there were any creatures this big on Hoth anyway, so I'm trying to do a lot of stuff that could be Hoth or anywhere else. So that's kind of the thing. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.